Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTube that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes that post to my channel. Show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the, uh, the subscribe button, also the notification icon, so you can never miss an upload. All right, so guys, I want to talk about a defensive formation that I've been running online. Uh, this is a formation uh, that is is I've been pretty successful with. It does cause your opponent some problems. It's very hard to read this defense as far as uh, how uh, I'm going to be attacking my opponent, whether I'm going to be hitting him with coverage, with man um, uh, coverage, or if I'm going to be hitting with different types of zones. And it does put myself in a position where I can bait someone into making a bad play and getting myself a turnover. So it's going to be out of the 43 defense. The 43 normal. I used to do variations of the 43 under. I've also broken down the 43 over, and I used to run the the, the wide nine. Uh, but the reason I like the 43 normal is because it's probably one of the most in depth uh, defensive play uh, uh, formations in the game. It shows it's got a lot of flexibility. It has a lot of different blitzes. It's got a lot of different uh, types of plays that you can throw into your scheme to help you uh, bait your opponent. So uh, the base play we're going to call. Out of the huddle is going to be the safety blitz three. This is going to be a play I'm going to spend probably a big bulk of the time on, showing the flexibility of the safety blitz three and why I like to run this play as one of my base plays. Now, um, other plays we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make some audible adjustments. Now, one of the audible adjustments that we're going to uh, change is going to be Thunder Smoke. If you take a look at Thunder Smoke, uh, it's the, the um, play right up here at the very top. It's actually all blitzing linebackers. Uh, I want to change that up a little bit, and I'm going to do so by actually going ahead and taking, uh, and going with uh, with a different version of it, which is going to be the uh, the outside linebacker fire man. And the reason I like that is that it automatically mans up my middle linebacker on somebody, and that's one less adjustment I can do. I, I like having some type of a fast adjustment I can jump into. I'm going to leave Tampa two the way it is. Cover three. I'm going to go ahead instead of instead of being um, basically a cover three sky which would be like this I'm gonna take that and switch that out with a cover three cloud and the reason why I'm going to do cover three cloud is that it has that flat off to, off to the right or the left side. I can flip it either way. I've got two zones in the middle, and then I've got a rolling safety that's actually going to go ahead and cover me on my deep third. So this is a good way to go ahead and mess up your opponent's reads a little bit because you've got that cover three. Now, my bonus play for my audibles is going to be the cover two man. I don't use a lot of man, uh, man coverage in the game. So I'm going to go ahead and put a, a play in there that I think might mess up my opponent. So I might actually jump into maybe a, a zone blitz. I might jump into a cover nine uh, or a corner blitz. For the sake of this breakdown, I'll show you the corner blitz because I like the corner blitz because I can use that to go ahead and try to bottle up somebody that likes to run off of their quarterback. You occasionally run into people online roll right, roll left, and their whole offense is to wait for the defense to break down and then they'll go ahead and either take off the quarterback or, or uh, hit a hit an open wide receiver that's not covered uh, based on coverage anymore. So we're going to go ahead and use that. So let's go into our base uh, play, which is going to be the safety blitz three. And I'm going to go ahead and use this against uh, basically run plays, all different types of run plays. All right, so uh, the one of the things about the safety blitz three and why I like this as a base defense is that it's very stout against the run. Primary reason is it actually takes uh, your uh, safeties and brings them down five yards off the box, so they're going to react to the run very, uh, uh, very strong. Now I can leave this play, this play as is, but that means there's going to be big holes in the middle of the field up the seams and then you have seam flats and then the flats will be wide open depending on the coverage. So I like to make an adjustment. I like to go ahead and base a line um, and then uh, what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and take my safeties and actually put them into deep thirds. Now this is what I want to do for you. I want to go ahead and show you my controller so you can see this. Let's see if you can see my controller. You can. All right so let's go ahead and, and reset this play. All right, so what the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and base a line. We got that. And then I'm going to go ahead and take uh, my um, left of screen uh, safety. I'm going to double tap my triangle button, select him again, and then I'm going to do an inside corner. Uh, corner. Uh, the, the, the corner uh, basically plays really good run fits, and then it's going to play the seam for me too. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing on the on the right side. I'm going to double tap my 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 triangle Y button, hit the icon of the of the safety on the right side, and actually put them in inside quarter. So this is going to be the base defense. Now the next adjustment I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my coverage and put it underneath. So I'm going to hit the Y or triangle button, and as you can see right there, you got the underneath. We're going to go ahead and put these guys in hard flats. The last adjustment I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit my left bumper, slant inside. I want to crash my defensive line down, and then I'm going to hit my left bumper and actually 
actually go ahead and take my left of screen, right of screen defensive tackle, really depends on where I want to go, and actually go and, and put him in a bluff blitz. Now, the reason I actually put these, this, uh, the defensive end in a buff blitz and I don't leave the play as is, is that when you have your defensive tackles crashing down in, in the A-gaps, it becomes a, a lot better run fit, a, a better defense against the run. So this will actually shut the run down. So I'm going to run this play a few different times. I'm going to show you how uh, it actually will get people in the run fits. will actually cover up the holes. So we're going to base the line. We're going to go ahead and set up this hard flat crash and then we're going to go ahead and set it up so you can see how quickly I set it up and I'm still using the same guy so if he no huddles me I'm not going to be out of position with my user trying to make all these just crazy adjustments and we're just going to go and try to stop the run with the Ziggler play so let's go ahead and wait it's going to do a little auto motion runs probably going to be off to the left it isn't but you can see right there the outside gap is wide open or is, is covered up so So you can see how quickly I'm setting that up. Uh, and you can set this up really quick uh, against an opponent that likes to run the ball. And you're going to shut down his run. So it, what, what this basically does is it's going to put you in a position where it's going to make it very difficult for him to run the ball. Now, there's another way that I used to run this particular defense. Uh, and I actually would go ahead and take my safeties and actually put them in hook curls and crash down um, and uh, basically go ahead and take my coverage and put it down. Now, the problem with the hook curls is that a lot of times I'd still get beat in the seams I'd have to I would have to really defend this this back post area the back seam area against against my opponent uh, because I uh, those those hook curls didn't necessarily play the deep ball and I'm, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and play down in the box so you can see I'm getting block sheds right here uh, I've got guys playing the edge for me with this defense so it's just another way to play it uh, what I would do with this defenses. If I got a guy that's playing a lot of mesh routes against me, he's doing a lot of underneath, uh, what I can do is I can take these hook curls and put them underneath. So basically the middle of the field and his his his, uh, his mesh routes are going to be are going to be getting uh, gobbled up uh, by this coverage. So if he does any kind of uh, any kind of coverage right there, he's going to have a hard time. So you can see I'm really destroying this guy's offensive line. Now, uh, another flexibility with this defense, too, is the following adjustment. Um, what you can do is you can go ahead and cross man uh, your safeties. So I'm going to go ahead and double tap my safeties, select the safety, and then push up on the right stick. And I'm going to go ahead and select uh, a wide receiver off the right hand side. So now I'm going to be covering Kroom. And I can take my safety on the left hand side and put it over Jones on the back hand side. And now what this is going to do is it's going to provide myself stout run defense. But now I've got a cross manning and I'm going to have a situation where this guy's he's going to see safeties come right in the middle of the field and actually go ahead and, and take away some of his reads. So I'm going to go ahead and run this uh, uh, play against, uh, you know, uh, basically uh, we're going to run this against uh, basically uh, some, some coverages right now because you can see this has been pretty stout against the run. Uh, the gaps have been in, have been in great places. And uh, let's see if we could do what we could do against the goal line here. So this is probably the best run he's had so far, but I'm still able to go ahead and tackle him for only a five-yard game. So let's go ahead and jump into some coverages, some pass plays, and show you how this, how this coverage will definitely can lock things up and you have a lot of adjustability with it. So uh, let's go once again uh, in this play. Safety blitz three, uh, uh, and we're going to go ahead and use, let's just go ahead and pick one of the more popular plays in the game, uh, which is going to be, uh, let's see here, trips, and let's go ahead and do level sail right here. All right, so what's cool about this particular play is that you do have that flexibility to play a lot of those, those big popular plays in the game. And it does force your opponent to go ahead and, and struggle against some of those reads because he's not used to seeing coverages being in these different areas. So let's go ahead and see how the, how the CPU picks this up. So right there, uh, if I had a hook zone over there, I'd be able to, I would be able to add another guy in that area. So uh, what I can do now is I can go ahead and uh, match or, or uh, basically go ahead and, and take away some of his reads. And right here we got hard flats. Let's go over the top coverage. So we got a cloud flat. And we're just going to go ahead and, and read his guy. So I know I've got those backside receivers 
doing the levels concept. I know I've got those guys taken care of, and that was actually the area of the field that I actually missed right there. But you can see now you actually can go and lock that up. Now, what I like about having options is now I can go and attack my opponent with different looks. So if I go ahead, I've got the guys down in the box, and if I go ahead and manually blitz both sides, let me go ahead and show you how to do that. I'm going to switch into Tampa 2. And I'm going to go ahead and take uh, my right of screen a wide, uh, uh, linebacker. I'm going to put him in a blitz. I'm going to take my left of screen linebacker, and I'm going to go ahead and put him in a blitz. You do so by actually hitting your right bumper, flipping the slick to the right, uh, hitting the right bump, or the uh, right bumper, and flipping off to the left. Now I've got a blitz against my opponent that he's not used to seeing, and I've got these guys coming back into cover two drops. Uh, as far as the shells are concerned. So what I got to do is just go ahead and preoccupy. You can see uh, the pressure actually goes in there and gives the quarterback some antsy feet. So jump into cover two, baseline, set this up. Look how fast I've got this blitz set up. It is so fast I've got it set up. Yes, I'm setting six. It, yes, if he blocks the running back, he's actually going to get is going to pick this up. But that's all right. I just want to go ahead and try to get this guy to get rid of his ball really quick, especially if he's waiting for all the coverage. So if he gets used to to um, if he gets used to uh, playing coverage. If he's used to playing against coverage, it's going to catch him off guard when he's got some heavy pressure coming his way. And I'm just going to go ahead and try to preoccupy the center with my user. Now, one of the things I'll do too is I'll just go ahead and put one of my guy on a, on a flat, a hard flap. And I find that actually he comes out, they come out a little bit of a hole a little bit better and it preoccupies the defenders a little bit better. So you can see he's getting rid of that ball hot with that coverage. I can go underneath. Now, another adjustment I can do is I can do the outside linebacker blitz. And I've got this blitz already set up. So that's what's cool about this particular blitz. We just got to make sure we hold that left trigger. And he should actually go ahead and cover that guy right over the middle. And once again, the computer's getting rid of the ball really quick as he has to. So uh, if I got an opponent that run, rolls out a lot with their quarterback, uh, this is why I'll go ahead and jump into uh, the cover three. So I'm going to show you with a boot play on how uh, that can catch, uh, catch an opponent off guard. So let's just go ahead and jump into our base play again. We're going to do uh, a safety blitz, and then we're going to play type. Uh, we're going to do, let's see here, option, uh, pass, uh, play action, pass. So let's see our concept. There's got to be some kind of a concept I could jump into. So we're going to do boot plays. We're going to do a bunch of boot plays right here. So let's say he's going to do a lot of boot plays against me. Uh, what I can do now is I can go ahead and take uh, my, my cornerback and actually put him on, um, on, a, on a release underneath. This is my, maybe not be the best play to go and jump into, but you can see if he's actually running that ball off to the right, he has a tendency to run that ball off to the right, I've got a corner that's going to come down and actually take him out of his rhythm. So let's see if we can go ahead. Um, I'm hoping the blitz is going to come down off to the right-hand side, so let's go and see if that's the case. So this is cover three cloud. I've got uh, basically a deep cl uh, cloud right here. And let's see, come on, no boot. But you can see right there actually, uh, the, the corner actually came in. So if the guy actually rolls off to the right or off the left, you can see the corner coming in to do that. Another adjustment I like to do with this play, this this uh, this uh, two is I'll go ahead and take this guy, uh, uh, the corner that's blitzing, I'll put him in a hard flap. Uh, just to go ahead and mess up my opponent's uh, look a little bit, I can go ahead and put this uh, left of screen linebacker in, or, or lineman actually put him in a hard flat. So that's going to give me really, really good coverage. I've got flats uh, all over the field, and I've also got uh, basically uh, uh, an area of the field that's actually going to be covered up. So let's see if we can get this animation right there. So he almost got some pretty good animation right there, but th that's what we're going to do. So guys, this is a this is a defense that um, I really like using. Um, it is a it's basically a, a coverage that I've used a lot. Um, I, would, I would watch some of the gameplay. You're going to see me jumping into this defense, and it's very solid against the run. So if I've got an opponent that likes to run the ball, he's using heavy sets, he's using two wide receivers, uh, two tight ends, two running backs, and he's using the, he's pounding the ball against me, I'm going to jump into this defense right away. I'm going to go with an all-out coverage, but I'm also going to have run fits to go and stop the run against them. So once again, my subscribers, thank you for support, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you do like these type of tips... Make sure you smash that like button, and until next time.